A major step in the construction of that nuclear electric generating plant took place this morning when workmen placed the 400-ton bottom head assembly into position. This huge assembly is the lower portion of the vessel, which eventually will contain the nuclear fuel. It was moved on steel rails some 200 feet from the place where it was fabricated and was then lowered about 20 feet. The lowering process itself took all day to complete. The construction was placed on a concrete foundation. The bottom head assembly is 48 feet in diameter and stands 60 feet high. It is the lower part of the steel liner for that pre-stressed concrete vessel which will hold the nuclear reactor. The Fort St. Vrain will be the first commercial sized nuclear plant in the United States to utilize a high temperature gas cooled reactor in producing 330,000 kilowatts of electricity for the public service company of Colorado. Suspended from a crane 190 feet in the air, we were given a good overall view of the structure and the complex maze of steel frame. Construction began last fall, and the plant is scheduled to go into operation in 1972. This is Channel 9 News Team reporter Stuart Jacoby.